Hey everybody, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about my top 10 winter perfumes for 2021. These are ones that I will be reaching for in the winter time. And all of these are fantastic. You know, when we think of winter, usually uh, we're wearing our heavier, deep, darker, sexy, mysterious scents. And a lot of these fit in that category. So let's just jump right in with the first one. Um, it's from the house of Chanel and this is Chanel Gabrielle. This is a fragrance that for some reason I don't really talk a lot about on my channel, <laughs> but um, I really, really enjoy this one. When I first tried it, I was like kind of on the fence with it. I didn't like love it, but now I really enjoy this scent a lot. It's one that really grew on me over time. Chanel Gabrielle to me is a versatile, clean, musky scent. Um, it opens up with this nice, bright citrus and kind of sweet fruitiness. Um, there's also some beautiful uh, flowers in here, like a mixed bouquet. I think orange blossom, jasmine is in here as well. And then in the dry down of Chanel Gabrielle, I get most Mostly I get musk. And actually the musk in this one is most prominent uh, throughout the, the entire fragrance. It's kind of something that just supports all of the notes throughout the stages of, you know, wearing this. And the musk in here is, is just simply beautiful. Um, such an easy to wear scent, you know, you can wear every day to the office or something like that. And uh, it is kind of uh, a scent that makes me feel extra fancy. So yes, this is something that um, I think you can wear year round, not just in the winter time, but I think I'll be reaching for this more um, in the coming months. So that's Chanel Gabrielle. Uh, is this an EDP? I think it's an EDP. Now moving on to the next one, we have yet another Chanel perfume. Another one that for some reason I don't really talk too much about. <laughs> this one reminds me a lot of Christmas time. It's Coco EDP. Uh, this one reminds me of Christmas because of the beautiful spices in it. Now this is kind of an older perfume. It was released in 1984. And it is just a fabulous, fabulous scent. Um, we get a lot of spices, as I said earlier. It's a spicy, ambery, peachy, fruity perfume. Um, there's a lot of things going on with this one. I feel like with this fragrance, I, I smell different things whenever I wear it. Like, you know, I'll pick out different notes or accords. So, Sometimes I get a lot of sweetness. Well, actually I get a lot of sweetness most of the time, but I guess some accords are more prominent depending on the weather, my skin chemistry, if my skin is dry or oily or, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> so in here it's sweet. Uh, there's vanilla in here. There are a bunch of florals in here. It's woodsy, it's musky, uh, smoky, powdery, spicy, ambery. It just has like a whole range of different things. And um, it's kind of like the fragrance that has it all kind of thing. <laughs> um, there's also some clove notes in here that makes it extra spicy. Uh, rose, there's just so much going on. I will probably review this separately at a different time. It's kind of weird that I haven't already. Um, but basically it's perfect for cooler weather, cold weather, the winter time and it basically just reminds me of Christmas. So that's Coco EDP from Chanel. Now the next one here is <laughs> one that I have talked a lot on my channel in the past. Uh, this is Mugler Alien. It's um, a different bottle because this is just a small little 15 mil travel size of it. This is the EDP version. And this one, um, I finally found a way to wear this because in the past this fragrance um, actually triggers headaches in me so 
I have to be very careful when I wear this, but you know, the scent itself, I think is like one of the most beautiful women's designer perfumes ever. It is just so, so, so gorgeous, the scent. It's so unique and different. And um, I do have to wear it like not here, not on my neck or my chest, uh, not anywhere near here because, you know, after a while it can get quite cloying and overwhelming. So I have worn this on my ankles <laughs> and then the scent kind of just like rises up and I do get whiffs of it here and there. I have worn it behind my knees, my legs, just like anywhere like waist down, I can wear this and um, like my pants or whatever even. And so it's not like so in my face, but yet I'll still smell it throughout the day because it is such a, um, a very strong scent, very bold and intoxicating and sexy. And so, so long as I wear this in a certain way, <laughs> away from my top half, then I can wear this and I just love how gorgeous this smells on me. It's so good. It smells good on everyone. Like I smell this so often, like uh, I have smelled this very often on other people and it is kind of one that just leaves a beautiful scent trail and I always recognize it and I'm always like, oh, <laughs> it's so, so nice. Um, so yeah, Mugler Alien EDP. Now, the next one here is a fragrance from the House of Cartier. I don't own a bottle. I just have a small little travel size of it. Um, this is the EDP version. Uh, I do think that if I finish this or when I finish this, I'll probably will um, get the bottle of it because I think it's such a unique scent that isn't that popular. It's not that hyped up in the community, but oh man. <laughs> <laughs> this to me is one specifically that makes me feel super fancy and I have worn this on occasions where I'm just at home you know in my pajamas feeling kind of meh <laughs> and then I spray this on and then automatically I feel like, like a movie star or some kind of like bougie kind of thing <laughs> It's really weird, um, but uh, this fragrance does have that effect on me. So this is mostly a floral scent. Um, the most dominant floral is gardenia, um, but there's also some nice fruity sweet notes in here. I think vanilla is in here as well, um, but along with that, especially as this fragrance dries down, it does get deeper, it gets more earthy. There are some notes of leather and patchouli in here. Uh, maybe some vetiver as well, but uh, this is one that develops in a way where you're always interested, always wanting to sniff wherever you sprayed, and again, one that seriously makes me feel very, very fancy, even though I'm just in my, you know, pajamas. <laughs> and it's, it's such a beautiful scent, oh my gosh. So Cartier La Panthère, comes off to me a little bit mature. I think anyone can wear it, of course, but I'm getting like serious, mature, fancy, rich lady kind of vibes from it. And uh, it's an interesting one to wear, especially the emotions uh, that come along with this one when I wear it. Now let's move on to a fragrance from the house of Bottega Veneta. This one is quite new to my collection. Another one that I don't really hear too much about in the community. This is Bottega Veneta Lab Salu, uh, a flanker of the regular Bottega Veneta, which is another one that I really enjoy. This version, however, mm, this one also is one that makes me feel super fancy when I'm not looking fancy at all, like if I don't have my hair or makeup done or I'm not dressed well at all. I spray this on and then I'm like some fancy person <laughs> inside, the emotions inside. Um, so this is a leathery scent. You do smell leather, you smell suede leather. It's um, also somewhat floral and I like, I like the earthiness in here in the base. So it's kind of like a smooth, semi-sweet, 
leathery scent. It reminds me of a very expensive handbag, maybe Bottega Veneta. Um, it makes me think of that and you know, it's new and then you're just feeling the texture of the leather inside and outside of the bag. That's what I think about um, when I wear this. And so there's also some musky notes in here, some woodsiness more so in the dry down and um, a little bit of sweetness that keeps it nice and uh, lighter and fun. But it is kind of a heavy, heavy base kind of perfume um, that I think is very chic, very modern and very underrated. So yeah, Bottega Veneta Labsalu. Uh, this bottle is just so stunning as well. And uh, one that um, you should test out if you like, especially if you like the original one. All right, so the next one here is a classic. It is a masterpiece, you guys. And I think it is a must have in any anyone's collection. We have Dior Addict EDP. Now, what can I say about this one? I'm pretty sure all you guys know about this one already. Oh man. <laughs> this one is such a beautiful, spicy, vanilla, smooth sandalwood scent. Um, the vanilla in here, I think, is just so mesmerizing. It makes me, again, it makes me feel super fancy when I wear this. And um, along with that cream, silky, smooth sandalwood, um, there's also some floral notes in here. In here. Um, night blooming Sirius, it's called, or night blooming jasmine, and um, also some rose and orange blossom as well. But mostly, what I get from Dior Addict is um, a very sweet, vanilla, sexy, sexy fat woman or man. I think men can wear it too. Um, that is just so cozy. It's warm, has a bit of spice in there, and is just a masterpiece, you guys. I'm almost like, I don't even know what to say, what more I should say. <laughs> but it really is a masterpiece for sure. <sighs> Dior Addict EDP kind of just like speaks for itself. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to something that isn't as heavy or dark at all. Uh, this is from the house of Gucci, uh, and it's called Gucci Memoir Dune Odeur. So first of all, I want to say that this bottle is literally one of the most beautiful bottles in my collection. I really love, I love the color green here and the fancy cap. I don't know, there's just something about this bottle that I'm like, ooh, it just sticks out you know, among all the rest of my bottles in my collection. It's just very classic looking. It looks so like timelessly gorgeous. And so Gucci Memoir is a bit of a strange fragrance. Um, this one to me is one that makes me feel very relaxed. It is definitely a therapeutic, relaxing kind of scent. I guess, you know, in the winter time, I do spend more time indoors because it's cold, it's rainy, kind of snowy and stuff like that. So I want something to wear at home that makes me feel, you know, relaxed and chilled and calm. And Gucci Memoir Do No Dur is definitely one that does that for me. So this one is basically mainly a chamomile scent. So it's herbal and re reminds me of herbal tea and specifically chamomile. And so I'm just picturing myself sitting on the couch. I have on the TV like uh, a fireplace because I don't have a real fireplace. <laughs> but in the, in the Christmas time, I like to put, you know, the fireplace, you know, on, on the TV screen. So it just gives off this nice atmosphere. And then I'm sitting on the couch under some blankets, have some candles on, and then I'm sipping some chamomile tea and then also wearing this just like enhancing that chamomile tea um, scent along with, you know, smelling the actual tea. <sighs> it's so, so good. <laughs> so Gucci, Memoir, Do No Dur, so, so underrated. I don't know, you guys. I just think it's so weird. 
and so good and very unique and I really like I really like this one it's probably one of my most favorite scents from Gucci and I can't even I don't even think I own any other Gucci perfumes um, no I don't this is probably the only one I own so it's my favorite now top three you guys the top three winter perfumes that I'll be wearing this winter <laughs> This one is YSL Manifesto, another very popular scent. Um, I love, love the bottle, you guys. It's so, like, so cute and um, unique looking. So YSL Manifesto, I find, is a very sexy scent. This one makes me feel sexy when I wear this. It's um, very sweet. It's mostly a sweet, fruity scent, um, black currant, different types of berries, um, a mix of fruity berries. Uh, there's also tonka bean in here and vanilla and some woods. And I just love how syrupy, sweet, delicious and edible it smells. And um, yeah, this is one that makes me feel fancy as well. Like I would wear this to a party. Um, if there were any, <laughs> there's none right now. Um, but if I were to like get all dressed up and, you know, look my best, uh, this is one that I would wear because of how, how delicious it is and how it performs. It, it performs quite well and has a really nice sillage and trail. So YSL Manifesto, super fancy, sexy, um, sweet, delicious. Oh, so good. <laughs> Okay, and number two on my list is and one that was released this year. It's one of my most favorite releases of the year. This is Armani C Intense 2021 version. They have a version in a black opaque bottle that was released some years back, um, but they re-released it um, and then called it Intense 2021. So this is one also that has the same kind of feeling to me as the uh, manifesto. It has that nice, um, sweet, syrupy, black currant, fruity kind of vibe, uh, very delicious, uh, one that performs well, one that has a nice scent cloud around me when I wear this. Uh, also one that I would probably reach for if I have to feel, I have to be dressed up and something that makes me feel fancy. <laughs> uh, so some notes in this one, black currant syrup, there's rose, there's benzoin and patchouli, probably some vanilla as well. Um, but yeah, these two I think are comparable just in the way, like they don't smell exactly the same, but they have the same kind of sexy vibe going on. And that's why I really, really enjoy this. So that's Sea Intense um, from the House of Giorgio Armani. And lastly, the number one winter perfume that I'll be wearing is one that I don't even own a bottle of. I think that when I finish this travel size here, I'll probably get a bottle because it is that amazing. This is YSL Lieb or Libre uh, EDP Intense. I am not a fan of the original, the EDP. Then there's the EDT. No, that one didn't really work well for me. But the EDP Intense is just amazing, you guys. To me, it blows the other ones out of the water. <laughs> so YSL Libre is such a strong, bold, and intense scent. Oh, man. <laughs> this one makes me feel like I'm in charge. I'm like a boss lady. And um, it makes me feel more confident. Uh, it's a strange scent. It is a very unique scent that doesn't smell like anything else that I've smelled before. Um, basically, there is a beautiful, deep, dark, rich orange blossom in here, along with a dominant lavender note. Lavender is a note that I don't smell a lot in women's perfumes, but in this version, I think also men can wear it too, for sure. Um, but in this version, we get that sweet, um, intense orange blossom and then this nice, soft lavender 
along with some musky notes that give it a little bit of an animalic kind of skanky kind of feel in here. Um, there's vanilla in here, there's tonka bean giving it a nice sweetness and all together it just smells just so perfect. Literally it's perfect for colder weather. It is quite a heavy scent um, but really in the winter time it's like perfect. Like seriously it's the best fragrance you guys and one to try if you haven't tried it already. But that's my number one YSL Lieb, Libre <laughs> EDP Intense. Um, yeah, I, I just love and adore this one so much. So guys, that was my very long list of my top 10 winter perfumes. I would love to hear what you guys think about this uh, list in the comments and also let me know what you guys will be wearing this winter. I'd really love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.